Welcome everyone to this new tutorial and today I'll be building a Promodoro app and basically this app will be taking some input from the user and start counting down basing on that input and basically let's say if you have a task you would like to accomplish in 10 minutes you'll come to the app and input that 10 minutes there and that is going to start counting from the time you had input till zero and in this case if i refresh here you'll get put in your time and in my case i'll just say and that time you have to input it in minutes in my case i'll say 0 0.5 minutes so i'd like to have 30 seconds if i click ok you'll see here it start counting from 30 and let's say i'll be talking in 30 minutes so by the time this countdown reaches zero, I'll stop talking. And that can be used for many things. Let's say you have to accomplish a task in 20 seconds, in 10 minutes, in one hour. You can use this app. So let's quickly jump into the coding power of this. So right here, I had prepared uh, a new HTML file where I had put all my tags and a CSS file basically having some lines of CSS and here all is going to happen in this JavaScript file so when I when I come here and I refresh this page you get when you refresh you're not getting you're not getting any input that means we have just started a new project having this Promodoro there and we are going to make this app to do some tasks according to our needs. And here, what I'm going to do first is to get the user input. And I'll say here, const promodoro time. Okay? I'll say promodoro time. And basically, this is going to be equal to prom. prom and this prom, you have to put in something you want. So I'll say enter enter your time and I add three dots so if i come back to my app and i refresh you'll see here this page says enter your time and when i put you like 40 minutes i click ok nothing happens right and i'll quickly take care of that in a second so i'll try to log my time in the console say console log promodoro promo the time so if you come here to your app and you try to open your console and it will take a couple of seconds okay so here when i refresh and i say maybe 20 when i click okay you see here 20 is right here okay guys all right so that means we are getting our input in the right way. So instead of logging that in the console, I'll try to do something useful with that input. So let me quickly do that in a second. And here I'll say, I'll first transform those minutes I got from the user and transform them to seconds. So right here, I'll say const promodoro, promodoro seconds, and that will be the promodoro time times 60, so that we get only seconds. Okay, and what I'm going to do next is create a function, and I'll say that function is going to be the countdown, that will be the countdown, down, down, and that will be equal to a function and in, inside this function I'll, I'll do a couple of things so that we get that countdown working and before I do something in that function I'll first get this I'll first get this h1 so that whenever I input something I output it here instead of this Promodoro dummy text. And I'll say const Promodoro, Promodoro output, output, and you can name it however you want. And here I'm just going to say document dot query selector. And 
I'll access that class of Promo Promodoro, and this is the class I had put here. And after accessing that, maybe here I can do something really simple, and I'll say I would like the Promodoro output, a Promodoro output to change and inner i say you know html and i would like that to be my promodoro time i mean the time i have just entered in the in that user input or in that prompt that has come to us and i'll say here that will be promodoro time for this function i'm going to call this function countdown i call the function so if i go back to my app I refresh, you get this, you say 40. If you click OK, you get it output right here. But nothing is happening with that input. We are just outputting it at that place where there is an H1. So after that, we are going to do something useful with this. And I'll first say const minutes. And I would like to get the remaining minutes or the minutes we have from our input. And I'll say that will be Promodoro time. That will be Promodoro time divided by 60. So will be Promodoro time divided by 60. And here we go and get the seconds. We try to get a second, we'll, we'll do the same thing. And here we'll say const seconds is going to be that also is going to be that promodoro and it's not promodoro time but promodoro seconds promodoro seconds divided by i mean not divided but modulus 60 so that after the division we get that part remaining i mean the part that was not divided and up here, where I said minutes, we are going to do this Promodoro transform. Promodoro seconds, Promodoro seconds, and we'll put that inside another, another function, and this is going to be the math.flow. And this will get the lowest number of this division. If we have some, <coughs> If we if have something like a float, we will try to round that to the lowest number. Okay, and after that, I would like to decrease this Promodoro seconds. And I'll just say here, instead of a const, I select. I select so that we reassign something else to that. And down here, I'm just going to say Promodoro. Promodoro second, and I'll decrease that number. And down that, I'll quickly do something else. And I'll say, I would like to get my Promodoro output. And I'll say Promodoro output. There, I'll say inner HTML is going to be equal. And I'll use the backticks here, because I would like to output some things dynamically inside there and I'll output my minutes plus right here I'll just put this and I also output my seconds and I'll say I would like to call to call my function after each one second so I'll say I'll set an interval I'll say set interval and this function will be put inside. And inside here, we expect two arguments. And I'll put 1,000 milliseconds and that one second. So if I try to, if I try to go back to my app and I refresh, I enter here, let me say, I enter 0 0.1 minutes. I mean, those are six seconds. So you see, nothing happens there, right? At this point, nothing happens. We just get those minutes there, but we are not decreasing them. So if I would like to decrease them, I'll go back to this app here. I'll go back here. And instead of calling this function, 
I will just point at that function so that I just don't call it once, but I point it at that function so that it's called after one second. So if I refresh, you'll see there it works, right? I can say we are almost done, but we get something minus one, minus two, and we don't want that behavior, right? We would like that to stop at one. I mean, we would like that to stop at zero seconds. So I will check here before I render that function. I will check if transform. I'll check if the Promodoro, sorry, the Promodoro seconds, Promodoro seconds, if that is str is strictly greater than minus one, if that is strictly greater than minus one, only there I'm going to run this function here. I'll put this function inside. And if it's not the case, I'll add an if statement here and say, if my Promodoro seconds is less, is less or equal than minus one, there I'm just going to say Promodoro output and that Promodoro output, I'll set in a HTML and here I'll just say time over, time over that what I want. So if we give that a try and go back to our application, if I rerun this and I put 0 0.1 minutes, that means six seconds, we get six, five, four, three, two, one, and time over. But now another behavior we would like to say, if we have, let me quickly show you what I mean. I say here, if we would like to have zero, zero, and here zero, something, if the number is less than 10. And what I'm, what I'm going to do here, I'll first check if these minutes are greater than zero, I mean, are greater than nine, and here we would like to output the minutes the way they are, like if those minutes have two numbers, you get, if you have 10 minutes, we'd like to output 10 minutes. But in the case where we have nine second, nine minutes or eight minutes, we'd like to put a zero before. And otherwise, I'm also going to use the back ticks again. And I'll say here, I would like to output zero, then the minute. So if there are nine minutes, you're going to have zero, zero, nine. So I'm also going to do the same here on seconds, and I'll check if my seconds are greater than nine. If they're greater than nine, I output my seconds. Or in other case, if they are less, I mean, if they, my seconds are less than 10, I would like to have zero. I would like to have zero first, and then, I output my seconds like this. So if I if I go back to my app and I put here 0 0.1 minutes, I click OK, you'll see that the behavior 10003 like that. And when it reaches zero, we get time over. So guys, all for this application, hope you can now create your own Promodoro and use it maybe when you're working and say, if I have a task of 25 minutes, I can set 25 minutes there. And after that, when it reaches a zero, I will stop and the time is over. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel.